Hi, I am Dr. S. K. Singh. I did my post graduation in Ayurvedic surgery, that is MS Ayurveda from Institute of Medical Sciences, Banaras University, BHU. And presently, I am working as a director, Sushurta Anorectal Institute, Rohini, New Delhi. So today, I am going to talk about uh, anal fistula. Anal fistula is a very now uh, it is a, a very uh, commonly seen in the general public, and it presents itself as a small swelling in the anal region. There is a swelling with some pain, and sometimes the discharges like pus or watery discharges may also be noticed. So uh, basically, uh, any type of any swelling with or without pain, which is uh, located near the anal region and sometimes the pus or watery discharges are noticed from this swelling this is a very common indication for anal fistula this indicates that the problem may be anal fistula now uh, we talk about the treatment this is a common feature of anal fistula now we talk about the treatment the treatments uh, which are available uh, nowadays there are a large number of options are available because in modern surgery uh, if you talk about modern surgery initially it was fistulectomy which was done and after that then since fistulectomy has its own complications like uh, anal incontinence recurrence of uh, the disease post op complications like pain bleeding etc so other options were uh, thought about and uh, amongst those options uh, which were tried in the past they are like uh, glue technique was there the laser was tried and nowadays uh, it is the waft that is video assisted anal fistula treatment which is also known as maft as minimal anal fistula treatment they are being tried uh, but unfortunately in all these options with all these options the treatment of fistula has not been uh, has not been very confirmed that there is no uh, assist because even in these conditions also recurrences are being noticed now if we if we look back towards the surge uh, in the in, of the uh, in, in the past years now, uh, if you thought about uh, the in the past days, in the past 1500 years BC, if you talk about this disease was there, and this was mentioned. This has been mentioned in Ayurvedic texts as Bhagandra. Now, this treat, this anal fistula was treated in those days with uh, with uh, Shar Karma and Shar Sutra. Uh, chikitsa. Now, uh, this Shasutra Chikitsa is a non-surgical treatment. This Shasutra therapy is a non-surgical, is a parasurgical treatment. Usually, it does not require any uh, major surgical incisions or surgical or damage to the tissues. Precisely, what is it uh, in this technique? We have to first uh, define the track of the fistula, and that could be done by MRI fistulogram, or we can uh, with delicate gentle probing also we can find out the depth direction and the branching pattern of the fistula track now once this depth direction and branching pattern of the fistula has been refined then a medicated thread that is known as shar sutra that is under certain under local anesthesia uh, with uh, certain equipments this thread is being placed in the fistula track the medicine which is released from this thread from this Shar Sutra usually debrides the uh, fistula track gradually. It uh, cleans of, it clears of all the unhealthy fibrous tissue collections, etc., what which are present in the fistula track and which are preventing the healing of the fistula. Since this, this basically this. Uh, if you thought if you if you, uh, if, you if we try to explain the mechanism of action see basically thread is a media by which we are delivering the medicines that is shara precisely in the track which are existing in the fistula so uh, with the help of thread the medicine is being uh, is reaching to the into the entire track and the medicine is cleaning the track and body it's, itself spontaneous healing is there now the healing rate with this shar sutra is approximately 0.5 to 1 centimeter per setting that is to say that once the thread has been placed the medicine is being released it is working and debriding the track but this medicine remain active for 5 to 7 days and after that the medicine is finished so this thread has to be replaced by a new thread at weekly or 10 days interval 
Now this system of change that is uh, what we call is the secondary settings this continues till there is a final cut through that is to say the, the fistula is the thread is gradually coming down at the rate of 0.5 to 1 centimeter per setting and uh, the length of the thread the loop length of the thread is also reducing and gradually the thread is coming towards the periphery and then it is it comes out with the simultaneous, simultaneous healing which is following the thread. So this is the best way to treat the anal fistula which does not require any hospitalization or bed rest. You can continue your normal routine activities as usual. Now so far as the clinical trials are concerned, the thing is that whether this treatment is effective or not, uh, let me tell you, this, uh, the clinical trial, the comparison between surgery and Shah Sutra, this was conducted long back by ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, and the, the clinical trials were conducted at four premier medical institutes, including Ames, Delhi, PGI, Chandigarh, etc. And the ICMR uh, researchers, they have concluded that the Shah Sutra treatment is more effective and more convenient as compared to surgery in the patients of anal fistula. So this is an unbiased that if the unbiased, this is being concluded uh, that in whatever type of treatments present nowadays to treat anal fistula, the best therapy is the Shah Sutra therapy. Uh, special, uh, this is an specialized therapy of Ayurvedic Shalya Chikitsa, Ayurvedic Shalya uh, Chikitsa Padhati. This, uh, so this is being done and uh, mm, I would like because the masses are not aware about this Kshā Sutra they do confuse it with Bengali treatment or unethical treatment which is being uh, uh, which is being commonly seen in the nearby areas also so this is this this Kshā Sutra is a scientific technology scientific uh, treatment which has been evaluated scientifically and is a part of Ayurvedic uh, system of medicine and surgery. This has nothing to do with the Bengali treatment. Basically, what is my, to my information, Bengali's uh, treatment, there is some uh, some people are doing it that they are putting, uh, they are not quality. This the Bengali treatment has not been scientifically evaluated. They used to put the thread and they are simply cutting the tissues with the thread. Every day they are cutting it and they are they are putting a pressure. This is basically a mechanical cut, cutting. Of the tissue which is <clears throat> which is uh, unethical which should not be done and the best option is of Shah Sutra Chikitsa so just for your information I would have delivered this I would ha I have passed this information to you and you should like and I would request you to spread this information about uh, in, the, in the masses so the people who are suffering from anal fistula should get a proper information and and they should get this information that there is an option that is which is from Ayurvedic surgery and which is far better than modern surgery or any ex system existing in, uh, in, uh, in, in the medical science for the, for the management of anal fistula. Thank you very much.